Between today and the entrance into the kingdom, we have to know and understand there are some things that have to change. Hi, this is Barry Phillips of 10 Minute Tour, day one of the Midbar. We're starting a new book today, and so we're going to start in verse one of chapter one. And Yahweh spoke to Moshe in the wilderness, in the wilderness is Bamidbar, of Sinai in the tent of appointment on the first day to the second new moon in the second year after they had come out of the land of Mitzrim, saying, Take a census of all the congregation of the children of Israel by their clans, by their fathers' houses, according to the number of names, every male, head by head, from 20 years old and above, everyone going out in the army of Israel, number them by their divisions, you and Aaron. And what follows then are instructions as to how to do this. The Midbar, it's an interesting word, or interesting Hebrew phrase, actually. It is spelled with a bet, bet being a house, symbolically, a mem, being waves of water or water or chaos, uh, mighty water, perhaps. A dalit is a door, a way of entering in. Then we have a second house, another bet, and then followed at the last by resh. The back of the head, the highest one, the supreme one, the chief. Uh, symbolically, if you want to go that way, one might then say that the house of chaos is the door to the house of the Supreme One. Or perhaps we could say it this way, the house, house of chaos and the house of the Supreme One share the same door. One door leads to both. That is because there is a rhyme and a reason for the wilderness setting for Am Israel. Let's understand what's happening here. They are a year out of Mitzrayim. A lot has already happened and transpired. They have complained and they have murmured and they have groaned. And the gold calf has taken place, and the Torah has been given, and the Mishkan, or tabernacle, has been constructed. The glory is shown up. Nadav and Avihu die because they transgressed the line of the holy. Uh, there's a lot of things that have already happened in just one year's time. Major, major events. This people, at this point, are still uh, uncounted, they're unorganized, they're, they're misfits in a lot of ways, they are a grumbling bunch, they are, even though they were slaves, they have become spoiled to a degree, we might say, they have water flowing from the rock and dinner on the ground on a daily basis, except for Shabbat. The cloud is with them, the pillar of fire is with them, Moshe is with them, the glory of Yah is in the center of their camp, and they're just kind of floating around, going along, and just next day, what's next? There is a rhyme and reason, however, to being in a place called the wilderness, a place of testing and proving. Yah did not redeem us from our sinful past to put us on Gold Street living in luxury without testing and proving and without challenges, just kind of floating along on a cloud, playing our hearts and eating grapes and cheese until we, oh, hark, the kingdom has come. Well, let's just step on over and enjoy the rest of this. All of us know that's just not the case. We have been through the ringers. You have had all sorts of issues, relational issues, doctrinal issues, uh, you've had health crises, you've had financial upsets, Yah has caused you to move to another location, or you know, a long list of things have happened that have challenged you, 
None of those things were without purpose. Yes, we have obviously looked at the heavens and I don't understand what you're doing. Can you help me make sense of this? Most of us prayed that prayer. God knows what he's doing and the idea of trusting him in the middle of all that, it is something that we've just had to learn to accept and go with. And he's always proved himself faithful, hasn't he? So it's in the midbar that at least three things take place. It is in the wilderness, it is in our times of testing and stress that, number one, we are counted, which is referenced here. And when we are counted, that means that we're raised up and identified. To be counted is to be acknowledged. To be counted is to to know who you are by name, by lineage, by purpose, by calling. Secondly, we are given order. This is where Yah teaches us to take the chaotic, the undisciplined, the malformed, the problematic things that we just continue to walk in, the repeated issues that trip us over and over again, to give order to that, to where we learn that we are not alone, but we have to rely on those that are around us. None of us are walking through this stress wilderness setting in isolation. Again, we are, as I said last week, we're learning to move from individualism and personal independence into more of a community mindset. And we look on the needs of others. We're not nosy. We're not invading. We are not uh, investigating one another. Please don't do that. But rather, we are sensitive and aware. We can tell when there are those that are around us that are, well, they're just off. They're, they're not themselves. They seem to be struggling. And you're going to approach them and ask them, hey, are you okay? What's going on? Oh, I'm fine. I'm fine. We can have one of two responses to that. We can say, okay, they said they're fine, so I don't have to worry about it. And we can just move right along. But when our spirit inside of us is saying, you need to press a little. Gently, we offer, if you need me, I'm here. If there's any way I can help you. Oh, I said I was fine. I know, but I know that there's, I can tell there's more going on than what you're, you're, you're revealing. You don't have to reveal to me, but please know I'm praying for you. And I covenant to with you to pray for you this week. Call me if you need me. Something. Do something. But we partner together because we're given order. That is, my place is determined by you being in your place. I'll say that again. My place is determined by you being in your place. I know where I belong when you know where you belong. Because that means that both of us are walking in the roles that we have been assigned. Which leads us to the third thing. We are their assigned purpose. These people are not functioning as a nation. They are a bit chaotic. They are a mob of misfits in in many respects. They are an ill-managed swarm of people. And they're going into the land where they are going to have to come in refined and organized and ready to fight and attain what it is that Yah has situated for them. The idea that the body of Messiah, as it currently represents itself, as a mob of misfit, swarming, arguing, divisive individuals, all struggling for prominence and recognition, somehow there's going to be a change and some things are going to have to change between today and the time we enter into the kingdom. Be ready to go through the wilderness, to be tested, to be proven, to be organized, to be given order, to be assigned your purpose so that we can be an effective functioning body 
to enter into the kingdom. And I'll see you again tomorrow. Until then, shalom. Shalom.